place on the medal roster. Well, the men's 1500 metres, the next event on the track, and striding healthily down the back straight there is uh, the outstanding favourite, Kumari Taki of Kenya. Jakob Ingebrigtsen of Norway, just 15 years old, but he has run 3.42. Now, that is astonishing. It's worth about uh, 3.59 for a mile, and he's 15 years old. 3.59 for 1,500 metres would be good. We saw Ramsden there, Matthew Ramsden of Australia, only fifth in his heat. He's through to this final. Josh Kerr of Great Britain, third in his heat. The European junior champion last year, won that in uh, Eskilstuna in Sweden. At the University in the USA, in New Mexico, actually, is uh, Josh Kerr. Gwadi of Ethiopia is also in this field, so is Anthony Kiptu, we saw just there, the world number five, Tolosa, another Ethiopian. The East Africans are here in force. They've got to be dealt with by the likes of Kerr and Ramsden and Ingebrigtsen if they want to get amongst them. Baptiste Michelet of uh, France, silver medalist in the European Junior Championships last year behind Josh Kerr. Also in this final, Jordi Torrents of Spain is out there as well. Ayub Sniba of Morocco, third in the Moroccan Championships in June. He's a good athlete, a 340 performer. Elzan Bibic of Serbia, don't discount him. He's a 347 performer, but if it's a slow tactical affair, which I doubt it will be, he could be a danger. And Ayai Kumar Saro, or Saroj of India, is... Uh, Good to see an Indian athlete out there in those colours making a World Championship final. But Kumari Taki, well, he was World Youth Champion last year at the age of uh, 17. He won by nearly five seconds last year, running 3.36.3 in Colombia. There is the uh, lineup. That's nine of the 12 starters at least. But so qualifying was tough from the uh, heats on day one on Tuesday. This is day three, remember. Only the first three from each heat, plus three fastest losers, got through to this final. The Ethiopians, by the way, have never won this title. So, Wilma Murta at 4 metres 60. The European senior finalist. She's being overshadowed here. And she continues to be overshadowed. So, if she is to stand a chance of taking the title here, she's got to go a height further, hasn't she? Well, indeed, I beg your pardon, that is in fact her third consecutive failure, so she is out of the competition. So we do have our winner. It is the Swiss, and what a terrific performance it has been by Angelica Mosa, who had an earlier blemish, but in the end, she was utterly dominant. So the athletes lined up then for this men's 1500 metres final. Will the East Africans, the two Kenyans here and the two Ethiopians, lead the rest of the field of merry dance? Taki has only run 3.38 this year, that was to win the Kenyan under-20 trials, but it was at altitude, and over 1,500 metres, altitude is certainly uh, a detrimental factor. At 800 metres, it's an object of discussion, but most people think at the very, very best, it's that you break even at 800 metres when you race at altitude. There's no advantage, unlike there is at 100, 200 and 400 through running through that thinner air. There's a Bibic, second in his heat. The Serb, even though he's only a 3.47 performer, good speed. Ayub Sneba, season best of 3.40, a lifetime best. He was uh, a heat winner, the Moroccan. Jordi Torrents, third in his heat. He's a 3.40 performer as well. Baptiste Michelet of France, 3.39 performer, the European junior silver medalist. Tolosa of Ethiopia, watch him. Tolosa has run uh, just 3.46, but I suspect worth a lot quicker. Anthony Kiptu, third in the Kenyan trials. Uh, 335 performer, the African junior champion, Gwadi of Ethiopia, as well as there. Josh Kerr of Great Britain. Well, his coach Joe Franklin, he's also been helped by Dave Campbell and Mark Pollard in uh, times gone by. Ran a recent person best of 341 at the NCAA championships at the US uh, in the USA in Eugene. Inga Britson, the younger brother of the astonishing middle distance family 
from uh, Norway. He is a huge talent, but will he have the legs run off him here? Remember, his younger brother, his older brother, I should say, taking the uh, European title last week in Amsterdam. Kumari Taki nearest the camera. How will he choose to run this one? Won the World Youth title last year by nearly five seconds. He was a heat winner two days ago. Away they go, the world record 328.81 by Ronald Quemoy. That was in Monaco two years ago. Quemoy indeed winning in Monaco just a few days ago. The uh, Diamond League race there, that's a tightly bunched pack and a lot of pushing and shoving, that's really physical. It's so slow and the Spaniard Torrent has gone to the front but hasn't really accelerated. He's running right on the outside of lane one. They want somebody else to come through. The Briton, Josh Kerr, on the inside, refusing to accept the invitation. Sneeber down the outside there, the Moroccan staying well back, and this is a typical championship race, Martin, really awkward, so much jostling for position and contact there. Middle distance running in this sort of uh, situation is very much the contact sport, about 49 and a half seconds at 300. Yes, I know you mentioned it, but wouldn't it be a story if young Jakob Inge Britson actually won this title, when you consider how the younger or the middle brother upstaged the more experienced elder brother in Amsterdam when Philip beat Henrik in that 1500 meters. It would be quite a thing if the 15 year old apparently unknown youngest brother of the lot of them actually upstaged the other two here by springing what would be a major surprise. But it's quite a story we've got a 15 year old in, uh, in a world championship final, let alone when it comes from such a family. Well, this is remarkably slow, 66.7 at 400. The pushing and shoving continues. Everybody jostling position. The Australian, their tall figure of Matt Ramsden, getting very much involved in proceedings in the pushing and shoving, but he's in second place at the moment. Josh Kerr, Great Britain on the inside behind Tolosa. Guadi, the other Ethiopian, moves up onto the shoulder. Now they begin to get impatient, and the pace picks up as they come towards two laps to run. It's Guadi from Ramsden, Taki, the World Youth Champion, goes through there. 156 on the clock at uh, 800 to go, two laps to go. I've seldom ever seen so much movement and jostling over the first couple of laps of 1,500 metres. If you're going to expend that much energy, you might as well get out and start running more strongly. 800 metres there, 2.12.99, another 66-second lap. Well, maybe we're going to get the move now from the Frenchman coming down the outside, but everybody's almost just trying to get off the curb, aren't they? Stepping one step to the right to avoid getting caught behind bodies and getting caught behind somebody. But the pace is now being uh, timed up just a little bit, and at some point here, somebody's really going to kick for the front. Well, Ramsden's been very involved in all the uh, jiggery-pokery over the last couple of laps. He's at the front now and beginning to wind it up. Interestingly, Josh Kerr at the moment has to be tired after a long American college season, third from the back and losing ground. He's got most of the field in front of him as they come towards the bell. It's Ramsden, Ramsden, from uh, the Frenchman there, Michelet, who now hits the front. 597 there. That's Sataki in second place. He gets clipped by Ramsden. The Ramsden in fourth place. Then 3-2-3, three, three, one of the Ethiopians, Gwadi, in fifth place. Down the back straight now. Mishla is not holding back here. 55.6, that third lap. And look at Inga Britson, the youngster, just 15, still in it. He's getting past now. But now the East Africans moving into position. It's Taki who leads, the world youth champion with his teammate Kiptu looking smooth on his shoulder. Michelin's run a good race there, the Frenchman in third place. Tolosa of Ethiopia in fourth, Inge Britson in fifth. Might not have the legs just yet, but he's only 15 years old. His time will come as Taki and Kiptu cut loose. Here comes Tolosa, head back, flailing arms. Is he going to get there? It's going to be mighty tight at the line. Oh, he crosses the line horizontally does Ataki, but he takes the gold, and he needed that dive, even if not the fall, but he needed it because Tolosa was coming through like a train, had swallowed up Kiptu, who uh, took the bronze medal, but Tolosa finishing inches short of the gold in a desperate lunge for the line there. Kumari Taki adds world under 20 gold to world youth gold. 53-41, I got the final lap. And I think he's in one piece, let's hope so. Hope that tooth was missing before the dive. 
<laughs> but what a brilliant, brilliant run. What an eventful race. He's too tired to celebrate as yet. I think, Martin, maybe he doesn't know he can celebrate, but I'm 99% sure he got there. Yes, he has. Well, the legs are working now, but they were certainly going from underneath him with about five strides to go. And it was that situation where every part of his body was going quicker than his legs, and eventually he just fell over himself. <laughs> but uh, a lot of physicality during that race, pushing and shoving, almost good old-fashioned 1500 meter running out of the championships from the 80s, wasn't it, with elbows and heels? And it's what happens when things are not moving particularly quickly early, and people are wary of somebody making the break and getting caught on the curb, and almost everybody at some point was... A well, the amount of pushing and shoving there in the pack was astonishing. Ramsden getting in Taki's way, and I'm amazed that nobody went down, ironically, until the last metre of the race when the winner hits the deck. But everybody stayed on their feet in one of the most violent races I've ever seen. This is 1-2 for the Kenyans, but look at Tolosa here. Misjudges it, has to come wide past Mishler, the Frenchman, who did have a good run. I mean, all credit to him, he ended up in fourth place. But Tolosa, head back, has got Kiptu in his sights. Kiptu flailing is uh, struggling there to hold on to second place. But look at Taki. Dives at the line and crosses for the goal horizontally. Fabulous stuff. One, two, three for East Africa. Mishra, the Frenchman, in fourth place. Saroj of India takes fifth amidst all that. I didn't give him credit for a superb run. Now, this could prove to be the image of the week, I think. The 1500 meter champion crossing the finish line on all fours. I think there were more hands on the track than feet. <laughs> oh, my word. And the difference at the line 348.60 through for Taki to Tolosa's 348.77. It was a 14 one hundredths of a second. That's just a very, very few inches. What a run, though. From Saroj, RJ Kumar Saroj of India, 349.52 in that light blue strip, fourth, fifth place. He's turned back the challenge of some great athletes. Ramsden, the Australian, who expended so much energy with the uh, pushing and shoving to maintain good possessions or fight for good possessions, ending up in sixth place. Torrens of Spain, seventh, and Guadi of Ethiopia wraps up the top eight. Josh Kerr of Great Britain down in tenth place. But it was one of those races where you know, you can look back at it and think, what could I have done more if you were one of the also-runs? It's an untidy race, a fascinating middle-distance race, and a typical championship race, I have to say. Without pacemakers, that is where you learn to ply your trade. Goal for Kenya.